Yo guys, it's your boy Project Iceman bringing you another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation, or to be more specific, the beginning of Pokemon Rejuvenation Intense. Just wanted to show you how I'm going to pretty much wipe all of my data and pretty much start from the beginning. Um, I kind of like it. It's against my better judgment. 56 hours of gameplay, but I'm going to do it. Can you tell me a story about Sora and the Pangoro Mama? <laughs> Alright, I will. It was it once was a lonely Zoro, living deep in the darkest forest. He was a mischievous one, transforming into other Pokemon and beings that lived around. He would often use this ability to trick others into handing over food or using their homes to sleep in. Hold on for one second, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna see if someone's in. Give me one second. Okay, perfect. This, is, this place is a lot more quiet. Sorry about that. Let's go again. Because of this, he didn't want to have any friends. I'm sure you can piece together why. But one day, this changed when Zora met a powerful Pokemon called Pandora. They were fighting over a rare and coveted golden apple. Many hours later, the fight came to an end, and no victim was revealed. Over a against a Pangor. They knew that they were evenly matched. One could not take out the other. I wonder how that Zoro actually managed to do that. They knew that they were destined for friendship. Right. The two became quick companions. They were two peeps in a pod. They traveled the world together, overcame hardships, went on thrilling adventures. Life was good for two, the two of them, until one day Zoro went too far. Zoro planned a devious prank on Prime I shall transform into Pangora's fallen mother. That will surely get the speed, Zoro said. It'll be my best prank yet, Zoro said. So while Pangora left to find the food, Zoro put his malicious plan into action. When Pangora returned home, he was greeted with the sight of his dead mother. Paralyzed with a mixture of extreme emotions, Pangora dropped his collection of food onto the ground. In that collection of food was a golden apple. Haha, yes, that's right, a golden apple. When Zoro saw this, he transformed back into his normal state, looking down at the food and said, Hey, where did you find this golden apple? It looks fresh and incredibly delicious. Zoro raised his head to see a face filled with fury, sadness, but most importantly, disappointment. Zoro quickly realized that he hurt Pangora very deeply and tried to apologize, but Pangora wouldn't hear any of it, and immediately ran into the holes. Shaken and worried, Zoro ran after him, but Pangora was nowhere to be found. Zora realized that he repelled his only friend with selfishness, and Zora became lonely once more. Sleep tight, Maria. Oh, this is different. Wait, hold on. Huh? I don't think I. I don't think I was like this before. As I thought, they did make changes to the uh, to the story. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember if I went through this before. The last time I played this game. I'm gonna have to look over my old videos uh, to see if this happened before, but this looks different. Hmm. Winning already? Better look get up. These flowers smell- oh, you can interact with the flowers? Tale of the Lonely Zoro. I said that I could only play computer games after I finish all my responsibilities. Okay. 
her. Advanced Calculus. Oh, this is easy stuff, wait. Mommy and I went through all of these books already. We need more books. What? Advanced Calculus, though? Oh, yeah. I remember. She was going through this. How did I think? Okay, so they're sh showing her story first. Okay. Mommy, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, Maria, are you finally up? I'm preparing breakfast. Would you please go fetch your father? I believe he's in his study right now. Don't take too long. I don't want this food breakfast to get cold. Okay, Mommy. Oh, these pictures are pretty in this book. I like this picture of Mommy and Daddy. Maria, how are you doing? Mom said breakfast is ready, so get your butt out of this room and have good food. I do love your mother's cooking. All right, I'll be out in a few moments. Go tell your mother that, yeah? What's this do? Maria, please, don't mess with my computer, okay? Okay, sorry. Gar, gar, darn, I almost had it. I get it. I'll get it next time. R, R, C. Maria, please put that book down. Sorry. Okay. You can interact with everything. Daddy said that he'll be right out. Did he know? Well, that's definitely good to hear. Go upstairs and freshen up, okay? I'll have your breakfast ready when you are. Okay, and then we get to play outside now, please, right? Of course. Now go on, you don't want your food to be cold, do you? Nope, go in right now. Hmm? What was that? Mom? Mommy? Mommy? Mom? Who are you? How many times? What? How many times are you going to have make this little girl suffer? How many times are you willing to put her through this chaos? I, I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not talking to you. Uh, oh, well, where do you... Do you know where mo Mommy and Daddy are? They're downstairs. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to get... Go get... I'm going to... Huh. I'm going to go get to get them. Maria. Yes? No matter what happens, don't you dare lose hope. Don't lose who you are and don't you dare forget what's about to happen. You understand? Y yes, I understand. Good. Go to them now. They're waiting. Oh. work music though. I don't know what this says. Daddy has a second computer down here? Why is it asking for a password? Ooh. I love this music though. What are these letters? These pictures right here. Mommy! What are you doing to mommy? Mommy, wake up! Mommy, wake up! Mommy, wake up! Daddy, get out of the way! Get out! Why won't you say anything to me? Why? Marionette, your father wishes to see you now. What are you talking about? Marionette, your father wishes to see you now. What are you doing? Marionette. Marionette! Oh. What? For the fourth time, Marionette, Marionette, it's time for you to come out now. Your father wishes to see you right this instant. You already made him wait long enough. Marionette? Stop calling me that. It's Maria. Hmm. Your name matters not. Just hurry along now. 
What's going on? Where's my... Why does this feel so familiar? You won't let me out this way? Certainly. Then let... No. Not. Certainly not. What about you? Will you please let me out this way? Denied. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Said denied. Where's mommy? Mommy is sleeping with our lord now, Marionette. Stop calling me Marionette. It's Maria. What is with this tone? Maria. Mar Maria? Maria is no longer your name. Now, as I was initially planning to do, no need for explanation, sir. Demonstration may be the key to this girl's life. Hmm, very well. Arceus. Kapenmurdum. Darudanesu. Arudum. I tried. I'd sever this, no, I would have put. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of time. She's gone, and will be forever, but do not fret. She is more alive than she ever will, was in her entire duration of living. Now, Marionette, it's your turn. No, I'm leaving right now. Maids, bring Marionette to the altar. Let go of me! Let go of me! You did the same thing to Mommy! Mommy is gone because of you! Enough, Marionette. Go with Dick. You're horrible, you're horrible, you're horrible. Wow. <laughs> horrible, 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 horrible. Arceus, can I leave so? I tried. I tried. I hate you. I hate you. Someone please don't let him do this to me. Someone please help me. Anyone, help me. Please. What kind of rejuvenation of a variety of difficult modes you choose? And this is where it begins. Registration, start. Hello, can you hear me? Ah, that's right. Hello, my name is Amari. I am the scout and manager of the Avian Group. It is my duty to get newborn trainers like you out of the world and ready to go. But before we continue with that business, a little history wouldn't hurt anyone. The land of Avium is famous for its difficult challenges and a wide variety of Pokemon. You are familiar with Pokemon, correct? Humans and Pokemon need each other to grow as one community. That's where Valorant comes in. But before you get to Valorant, you'll need to register in all that jazz, so let's just continue with that. Do you need any assistance with controls? No, I'm Great. Now that we have that on, let's talk about the Avium Suite's expectations and requirements. In the Avian Leagues, in the Avian League, there are 18 gym leaders. You'll need to defeat all 18 to complete at the 8 Pokemon League. Pokemon may respond to your calls depending on what level they are and how many badges you have. I'd go further into that, but we'd be here forever. I'm sure someone will explain it to you eventually. Now let's get your trainer card set. Which parents best friends here? Boy. One on the right. What is my name? As usual, always, and always will be, Shen. So you're Shen? Congratulations, Shen. You are now registered in the Avian League. Once the SS Oceana docks, meet me at the Garen Laboratory. From there on, we'll pick you out your starter Pokemon, and then you'll be on your way to the Great Place. See you then. Ah, alright. Now this I remember. Oh, are you done? Please see me at the counter so I can print out your training card. Ah, yeah, Shen. This will only take a moment. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Perfect. Here you are, Shen. A brand new spec and new training card, courtesy of the SS Oceana. It is a verified game. Like that dialogue box just said, it is a verified game. You have to verify it like Gary immigrates from Hmm? Dialogue box? I'm actually not sure why I said that. It was like some other force was controlling what I said. Er, uh, don't worry about it. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> really? Okay. Buzz off like a combi scrub. I'm going to be the best there ever was. Alright, whatever, bro. 
Mm, the rocket sh of the ship ain't working out too well. Crap. I think I put in my email address when I created that I was five. I don't know the password to that one. I feel like everyone knows this one. <laughs> well, I do say you are interrupting a very good, important registration. Let's continue. Can I run? Press I'll save the game. Can't run yet. Hmm. I wonder if Shen is finished with the registration yet. And speak of the devil. Since you're done with registration, why don't you take a little stroll with me? Press X to zoom by mistake. Right this way. You see those doors? Behind those doors is a spectacular event. Soon a banquet shall be again behind those doors. But before that can happen, I have some things to do. So why don't you explore the ship and meet some people? I know it's been hard since we left. Since we left. But we shouldn't let it get to the best of us. So you have fun, okay? We want to go to our room, and it's very first door, top left. I'll see you soon. Cheer up. Don't look so funny. They have interesting books here, that's for sure. How to train your Dragology. Now why on earth would I want to train a Dragology? They're smelly and poisonous. Hmm. Well, a job. At least become a trainer. Any source of income is great. Hmm. The campus is totally comfortable. I don't think I have one to leave. I assume those are, yep, they're connected. So through the walls and the cabins. Here it goes in the lower east cabin. Hmm. I mentioned that. Oh, it's locked. Sometimes I hear mumbling coming through the wall. I thought this was supposed to be a luxurious cruise. Not a sham. Okay, stuff going on behind the wall. Please take a seat. So you understand your situation, correct? I do, however, I'm starting to feel fear. Don't bring such nonsense. What you feel is nothing but false emotions. Get over yourself and do what you're supposed to do. If not, then we're going to have severe consequences. Hmm? Now that we now that would be best avoided. Don't you agree? I understand. Just give me some time. Time is all you have. For now, I want to see Shen smile. They shall be enjoy the banquet and then you'll both go on with your lives in West Gary. You understand me? I understand. Well I'm glad we understand each other. Now leave. You've taken up too much time. Understood. Hmm. She felt an emotion. No, impossible. It's unfathomable. Hmm. Usually you're not able to find every Pokemon in certain regions, but I heard you can find all of the Pokemon here. Okay. 
Hmm. Hmm. In approximately 45 minutes, we'll begin to dock at Oceanic Pier. I don't remember. My computer, which is never wrong, says there uh, will be an indefinite delay. What does this suggest? Whatever you do, do not look into my cabinets. What's in there is top secret. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm actually interested. Shiny Pokemon that we can find. Let's see. That's locked. You probably shouldn't jinx us like that, Heather. Relax, you guys. Nothing is going to happen. I'm so not looking forward to docking. As soon as we dock, it's back to school for me. If something would happen, so I wouldn't have to go to school anymore. Oh. Don't worry about it, Mom. We'll be docking in about 45 minutes. We still have the grand finale banquet down in the breakfast hall. Ooh, boy, it's gonna be a good time. Seek in peace and tranquility. That is the meeting of life, the way of life. Share the village is my destination, my final destiny. That's locked as well. So I guess we can go to the room. I have some things to do before we all go to the banquet. Why don't you hang around the ship until then? The captain is an old friend of mine, so why don't you go to speak to him as well? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. After the ship leaves, the ship leaves Oceanic Pier out. Go ahead for Terra Juma. That's what I'm. Mean. Where does this go? Oh, it's locked. How did you all like that little song? Oh, you all absolutely flatter us. Isn't that right, Chicken? The next song is for you, Omni. Relax, enjoy. We're on top of the world. Hmm. Please enjoy yourself. I brought my son out to sea, but the only thing he's interested in is surfing against the web. Kids these days have no sense of adventure, no passion. My analysis dictates that one day you will become a great trainer. Just keep trucking. Do not wait for the annual grand finale phase. son and I live in a place called Tellion Town. It's quite the getaway from the vacation, I'll tell you what. Ah yes, the omelette here is absolutely delicious. The lingo are gorgeous. Just watch as their path changes with the wind. The da my daughter is waiting for me at Oceana Pier. It's been a few weeks since I saw her last. bought her a small gift, but the machine I bought it from accidentally gave me two. You can have this. 
Ooh. I'll take it. And this is why we talk to everyone. For some reason, I can't fix this blasted milkshake machine. Blast it off. I wish I didn't have a, such a dead end job like fixing a milkshake machine. Paul, I told you to go fix that milkshake machine. What? That's what I'm doing. That's a healing machine. Way to go, Paul. <laughs> I. I am so ashamed. Don't get too close to the edge, you hear? I don't see people tend to fall off of the side of things. <laughs> Guess I'm not gloves again. Hmm, yes, you must be Shen. Yes, yes, please come to my desk. My name is Augustus. How are you enjoying your trip? Sailing these seas is all the joy I can find in this part of the world. Oh, but don't let an old fart like myself bring you down. Nancy told me you were interested in becoming a trader. I was quite the battle in my day. I could share a tale with you. Oh, oh. Don't worry, I'll spare you the time. I'd like to explain some rules in Avium instead. Things in Avium are handled quite a bit differently from your average region. All leaders hold powerful and strategic team builds to counter the challenge. And instead of an elite four, there are eight. Let me say that this step shall definitely not be an easy feat, but I assure you, guess that's so. Ah, yes, one more last thing. You may have noticed that there are numbers etched onto your training card. This is what we call level caps. If your Pokemon exceed the level written on your card, they shall refuse your every command. To fix this, you must gain the badge to increase this cap, then gain another and so Ah, but that's all the time we have for today. We are close to Oceana Pier, so the banquet shall begin. Bon voyage! Sort some things out of the way. Hyper potion. <laughs> Crazy. I just stole her hyper potion. Oh. She's not here. Guess I go this way. Going in without me? Hey, you're the one who's going. He gives ever. Oh, shall we get be seated? Oh, Lady Nancy and Shane. Your table is to the la upper left, second table. Thank you, dear. May I have your undivided attention, please? It is with pleasure that I host the 48th annual Grand Finale Banquet. You know, when I was young, I would have never thought I'd stand here before you today. Oh dear, I guess this is going to ramble yet again. It is quite an honor indeed, ah, uh, but I'll save you the trouble of listening to an old pooch right on shore. Now to introduce our chef of the hour, Ramon. Yeah, he's very easy to do. You take spoon and fork and devour to your heart's content, eh? What is he waiting for? Eat. Troll. Hmm? <laughs> troll. What is the meaning of the senseless yelling? There's a troll in the dungeon. There's a troll in the dungeon? We don't even have a dungeon. 
That's because I'm in trouble. There's also actually a bomb in the dungeon. Thought you'd like to know. Get Jen out of here! Boop. See, my last gameplay, you know what those things are. Kid, is that you? It's gone. It looks like we're attacked. I mean, if you couldn't tell already. A bomb detonated at its very bottom level of the ship. If you're looking for your mother, she could still be in the banker. I'd go t with you, but I think these tentacle things can hear our movements. And it'll blow our cover if we travel together. So you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. Could have done this. Passengers. Everything is. Everything is wrong. Shen, how could this happen? What? Your mother? She. She's alive, I think. When the bomb detonated, it created a huge crack in the floor. Your mother went down there to try to extinguish the fire and any other threat that could oppose us. Hmm? You intend to drop there down there as well? Posturous madness, I say. You don't care what I think, do you? Fine. I can't stop you, but at least be smart about this. You don't know what you could be dropping into down there. There's a much safer way of getting down in there. All you have to do is take the stairs. The room below this one is a storage room, and the doors are usually locked. However, the explosion has caused the structure of the boat to shift, thus destroying the stores. Since the explosion originated from that vicinity, I can't doubt that the doors down are there intact. I'd be surprised if there's even a fragment of it from that room. Now go on, I have to salt to myself for that. inside the lot. Hmm. Well, that takes care of the fire. Although this place looks like it's seen by the days. Not too sure we'll see any more days, actually. What is it, Sylveon? Shen? Oh, thank Arceus, you're safe. Yeah, not too sure you all should be celebrating just yet. You? Are you the cause of this? Irrelevant. What matters is your apprehension. Wait, you attacked this ship just to get me? What was the point of attacking everyone? Why must you be... Why wouldn't you just go after me? It's because we aren't going to tolerate witnesses. Truth be told, we would have just taken you in the break of your mind, but we couldn't risk running into her. So we tried to take two birds with one stone. And if you ask me, it seems to have turned out exceptionally well. That's what you think. Sylveon, attack position! Dark Soul, Flash King. Sylveon, no return! I understand. I accept this. Shen, forget about me. Just go. Take this Pokemon and escape. If it's just you, you can do it. Believe in me. Believe in yourself. So heartwarming. This would be the part where I'd cry if I had a properly functioning non-physical heart. So yeah, gonna have to shut you down. Oop. Oh, look. Keep running. Uh, okay. I'm... Look out below!
Au! <sighs> Man, breaking a floor is harder than it looks. The sounds of a broken piano. The song, that song was dedicated to you. Get out of here, kid. Because it looks like my time is up. So fast. Surrounded, are we? That'll be a good little urchin and come with us. There's no point in fighting back. <laughs> Tower flame. What? Tower flame is flying bits. Blue them away, even in the rain. No. Now what do we do? We cut our losses and leave. We already got what we needed. Besides, they'll be back, I'm sure. I Tongue Flame, did you find anything? Oh dear. Are you okay? Were you on that ship? I explained what happened, apparently. So that's what happened. If I'm truthful that here, if I'm truthful here, I saw most of it go down. I sent my trusty talent flame to save any victims, and now here you are. Oh, but how rude of me. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Tesla. Unfortunately, that ship is no more. However, do not fret. I'm sure your mother is fine. Although she is in the clutches of Team Zen. Team Zen is a criminal organization that attacked that ship. They've been causing a lot of trouble lately, but nothing of this magnitude. It seems whatever they're planning has been finally brought to the surface. Anyway, you're all alone now, aren't you? What do you plan to do now? I see. Well, in any case, you'll need a Pokemon if you're going to survive by yourself. You can get one of Gary and Siri, which luckily is right next door. Ask for me? I think I'll go check the ship's last put down points and search for survivors. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. I'm sure things will work out accordingly. Oh, and before I go, what's your name? Shen? Alright, Shen. We'll see each other soon. Clear the way, please. Full speed ahead, Talonflame. Tailwind! People are worrying for nothing. That ship is just running a bit late, is all. Mm, if it's the ship that I was on, no. Where's the SS Oceana? It was supposed to be here 24 minutes ago. I'm excited for the ship to get here. My mom was on that ship. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wasn't the ship supposed to be here by now? Shoot, Cape. We're waiting for the SS Oceana to dock. Supposedly, there was a huge superstar aboard that ship. Docks by major cities usually have brown water. Levels. All those ships dumping oil into the water. We're trying to, you know, not destroy our planet here. So as a remedy, we have CO2 pillars placed around the city. They aren't much, but they're better than nothing. Sorry, kid. This promotion is only for trainers. Oh. Um, Motion. So I assume once I get a Pokemon, I can go for this. It's a lot. And that's not as well. Here in city. Ah, 
play until I get my first Pokemon, and then we'll end it off there. So let's keep going, shall we? Be careful out there, kid. Garen City is no place for weak trainers. I wonder where I should go next. Welcome to Embry Avium Immigration. Do you have your passport? No passport? Oh, this simply work just won't do. Do you at least have a trainer card that can double as password? Ah, yes you do! Please come with me for a second. Right this way. Could you please verify and renew this young trainer's trainer card? You know what'll happen if it's not verified. I sure did. This will only take a second. There, all verified and ready to go. Sen is now a certified, verified citizen of Avery as of this moment. Thanks, sis. Here, Shen, you can have this back. You can now roam Avium without any restrictions. Good luck out there, Shen. Yeah, they do look like sissies, don't they? You have a sable eye. Impressive. Hey Shen, it's me, Amaria. What took you so long to get here? Listen, don't worry about it. A lot of people are usually late to these things because they're nervous. Anyways, meet me up ahead so that we can get things started. The food they serve here is alright, but you can't complain because it's free. Let's see what's on the shelf to do up there. Slacking anatomy? No thanks. Slacking anatomy. Why would that be a book? It's always raining in this city. I think it's from all the pollution. Nothing makes a good rest after a tough battle. Yes, that's correct. I'm here to distribute a starter Pokemon to a newbie. Thank you. Come on, Shen. The main lab is on the second floor. Ouch. I'm sorry about that. Excuse me. Oh. That's some happy music. Not too much farther now. And make sure she's there. I will, don't worry about it. Ahem. Er, hello. Right. Anyway, Shen, this is Professor Jennison, aka Professor Jen. Jen, this is Shen, very new trainer. You know, the one I told you about. Uh, um, yes. Welcome, Shen. As Mario started, stated, my name is Professor Jennison. I am the head scientist of this lab. Therefore, I am also in charge of getting new trainers on the right track. That being said, you're a little bit late. Yes, they're, yeah, they are, were late, but they're probably overslept or something. The excitement of one's journey can sleep the crap person. You understand, yes? Yes, well, let's get Shen on their way. So, Shen, right next to me, there's a door. Take that door and then, and then the elevator. You'll be taken down to a room where all of the Pokemon that are provided are kept. You'll be allowed to pick one Pokemon. Once you pick the one you're satisfied with, you'll be on your way. Yep, and we'll be waiting for you here, up here. Okay. Please take this pod downstairs to the starter collection room. In there, you will be able to pick up the Pokemon for yourself. Sorry, I couldn't stand up there while you were making down, while you were down here making the decision of your life. Professor Chen is an also known man. It's awkward just sitting in that room with him. So let me explain the process. There are three biomes located in the Zenjibab Paradise. Fire types will section off to the right, grass types to the left, and water to the south. However, that is not all. If you're indecisive like 80% of America, you can use that beautiful, <laughs> beautifully colored machine over there. 
That machine will drop out a random Pokeball that will contain one of the starter Pokemon located in the Although legend has it that a machine can also drop out different Pokemon. So it adds a bit of a gamble, right? Low risk, high gain if you have to win. So go on, Gee, find your Pokemon. Now, I love using this machine because there's that sense of you have no idea what they'll give you. So I'm gonna do that. Yep. A Trico. Interesting. Okay. Let me call it. Christmas. Because of this mega evolution. Machine deactivated. Okay, so you chose. Why don't we put them to the test? We could use Battlefield right over there. It was supposed to be like used by Melia, but I'm sure she won't mind. Uh, should I do this now, or should I do it later? I'll do it now. Might as well. Alright, so this is pretty similar to Gym Leader. The, set is, the stage is set and the camera pans towards the leader. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably have no idea what I'm even talking about. I'm sure someone will know after they talk about meanings of things, the battle starts. Don't worry, I won't use my actual Pokemon games. I'll use this little one. Who will you use? Come on, send them out. What a cool Pokemon, Trico. Anyways, let's get it started. Battle start. Hopefully you don't have any fire types. Hmm. Alright, comes match. Invigorated yet? I know where I am. I got the tree gun. Let's check out his stats and his nature. He lacks nature. Eh, that's whatever. He has the overgrow ability, which is surprising considering that usually they have the um, hidden abilities for these Pokemon. But that's fine. Let's use the Leer. Oh, you got the first turn crit. Oh, guess I'll use that potion I got. You're totally good. Gee, work as Marianne, explosive, beautiful. You're a natural, even if it was just a tackle fight. Actually, I use pound, but whatever. <laughs> that was really fun, though. Both of our Pokemon put their all in. Amaria, how did I know you weren't just checking on Shen? Oh no, the horror! I've been found out. I simply can't go on like this. I was only teasing, Amaria. Don't worry about it. I know, but you know me. I can't stand letting battle offense movies like this go too fast. It's making it that. I must be going once again. Through the calls and all that. Understood. I presume I'll see you soon? Where there are new trainers, there's always a Mario. Before that, I'd like to give Shen something. See you, Shen. Make me proud. Yes, well, now that we have something pri some privacy, I'd like to ask you something. It's about my daughter, Malia. Professor! Why? I've done with my assignment in Amethyst Cave. Aha, uh -huh. results? Well, if I'm honest, I didn't find much. The Pokemon there were a little too strong, but I will get stronger. Ah, don't worry about it. By the way, Ren, this is Shen. Shen, this is my assistant, Ren. Yo! Well, an idea just finds. You say you want to get stronger. Well then, here's your chance to get stronger. Battle Shen. Sure, it'll be fun. For this fight, I'll use this little one. Let's go. Ooh. I'm gonna be Cody. Begin his luck quickly runs out. I'm 
best. But I am a level higher. Let's not do the looks of our Too close, looks like I lost them. Splendid battle, you two. Although, Ren, it seems you have more to work to. Yeah, yeah. Later, Shen. Now, all the interruptions are out of the way, I'd like to ask a favor. I sent my daughter Malia on an expedition to Route 1 recently. However, I'm a little worried about her. She has potential, but I worry none the best. To get to Golden Woods Forest, you must take the train to Route 1. To find that, just exit this lab, take left, and go all the way north. Of course, in exchange for helping me, you can have these. Ah, nice. These three items will surely help get you started on your journey. But of course, I must be going. Alright, we'll save here. We'll end it right here, and I'll see you guys next time.